Fortnite Squad. Hey everybody, CE Tech Dude here. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining me on this new video. This video is gonna be short and sweet. I just wanted to go over something that's really near and dear to my heart, and that would be Fortnite. <laughs> that's right, I know what you're saying. Oh, Fortnite, ooh. Well, I enjoy Fortnite, I'm not very good at it. I mean, I get some victory royales every now and then. Uh, you know, no big deal. But um, this is for the Fortnite Mobile specifically, and what this video is about. Guys, Epic added controller support to Fortnite Mobile. Yeah, I know what you're saying, that's pretty awesome. How do I make it work? Well, <laughs> let me show you how to do that right now. But first, some bad news. PS4 controllers do not work, guys. I don't know why. You can pair it with your phone all you want to, but it just the game will not recognize the, blue, the PS4 controller. Kind of annoying if that's the only controller you have. I'm sorry. Uh, don't. It's not my fault, it's Epic's fault. Maybe they'll fix it in the future, hopefully they do. But for now, no PS4 controller support. But, you're in luck if you own an Xbox One because Xbox One controller works perfectly, guys, with the caveat that it only works when you hook it up via Bluetooth. That's right, if you use a USB OTG cable, like I tried the first time, the controller will work and it'll mostly function in the game, but the right thumbstick that you use to look around doesn't work. And so if you can still play that way, more power to you, but I cannot and it's pretty annoying that that didn't work. But let me tell you guys, the controller works fine when you pair it via Bluetooth. Now you're probably thinking, wow, cool CE Tech dude, that's awesome, how do I do that? Well, let me show you real quick, okay? So first, you're going to want to hold down the Xbox button on the controller. You know the thing that looks like an X on it? Hold that down until it lights up. Perfect. Now, so you have it lit up. That's cool. Now, there's a little black button on top. Maybe you can see it here. Maybe you can't. Hold that down for three seconds until the light starts blinking. And that'll put it in pairing mode. So now, the next step is to open the Bluetooth on your Android device. Now, I forgot to mention earlier, I only tested this on Android. Uh, it may work on iPhone, I don't know, but I think iPhones only work with the MFI or made for iPhone uh, specific controllers, which I don't think the Xbox One is. But hopefully it works for you. If it does, let me know in the comments. But on your Android device, open up your Bluetooth settings find where it says Xbox wireless controller, bam, click that, and before you know it, that's paired. All right, now you're gonna wanna open Fortnite mobile. And let me get that open for you real quick here. All right guys, now once that is open, guess what? Your controller works fine. Works just like it would when you're playing on your Xbox. That's pretty awesome. So, yes, this works perfectly if you have it paired via Bluetooth. No USB OTG support as of now. Maybe Epic Games will add it in the future. But anyways, guys, that's just really a quick little video about how to use your controller with Fortnite Mobile. If you liked it, I hope you did. Leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs up anyways, just because I like thumbs ups. Um, anyways, leave me some comments. That'd be cool. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. You just got CE Tech. See you next time. Have a great day and great night if I don't see you again. See you. Bye.